Yo guys, what's up? This is your boy KGASS2 and today we're doing something a little bit different. Obviously, I can't really meet up with the boys and rest of the people to do this. So today we're going to be checking out an abandoned building that I have just found. So yeah. So as you can see, I think this is like an abandoned um, uh, power station. There's a thing right there. Um, I'm guessing these were like stairs at one point. But I'm guessing uh, they knocked them down. You know, a lot of gang graffiti there. You know, kids, don't do gang graffiti. Some gang graffiti in street art is good, but if the police see you doing any stuff like this, they will, you know, they will just, well, yeah, not worth it, guys. Right, so we're just making our way around here. As you can see right there, it used to be that used to be a camera um with people driving in and this guys i'm going to turn the camera on in a minute but this is the building that i wanted to show you i did actually check this out on my own the other day but i wasn't recording it because i didn't have enough battery on my camera so yes so now you're going to see what i see right guys so this is the abandoned building i think it's some kind of garage of some sort and yes we are going to go in but before we go in we're just gonna check to see if anyone is around. Have a look at the land, have a look at the outside of it, get as much footage as I can of the outside before we go inside. Plus I'm scouting the place out as well, just in case anyone's actually in here. Cause, you know, like I said, we don't want gangs or any, or any, uh, you know, drug people in here. So, yeah, you know, so, you know, I'm doing this on my own. I know you might think, wow, it's not as scary, but doing this stuff on your own, it is quite scary because you don't know who's hiding behind the doors. You don't know who's hiding behind the building, you know, in the buildings. You don't know what you're walking into, you know. To be honest, guys, this is actually quite, an eerie place now i did actually say to a couple of my friends you know like lee and that lot we would actually have to do some you know filming down here probably even you know try and get some stuff done up here but but yeah um there's not much to really see at the minute I'm just gonna get past some overgrown overgrown plants I keep hearing things like like, like rustling like someone's like got a carry bag or something but yes, so that is the garages. And we're not gonna go through all these garages because there's nothing much to see, but we are gonna try and go through some of the um, buildings like this. We are gonna check the other one out as well. So yeah, I'm gonna start from the beginning of the entrance and work our way through to the exit. And you know, obviously, uh, if you guys are enjoying this, um, you know, don't forget to smash the like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe as well. And yeah, tell me where any other haunt, like abandoned buildings are. And if I can actually get down there and afford the trip, I will actually go down there. But if any in Sheffield, that's where I'm from, you know, Sheffield, then I will go there if I can get down there. So yeah, so you're going to see now everything through my eyes only. Right, guys, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there is like, I think the, I think it's been raining last night and I just nearly fucking shit myself because I just saw like, I just heard like things like walking. Um, as you can see there, guys, there is an abandoned, these abandoned garages. I don't know if this is like a garage. I think it must have been a garage. Um... If you guys see anything that I didn't, that I don't see with my own eyes, please leave in the comments below. But I'm thinking this must have been some kind of like garage or something. Um, I don't know if this was like the waiting room, but yeah. I should be really wearing a mask, but I haven't really got a mask on me at the minute. I didn't think this place would be decaying as much. Right guys, so we couldn't get through that way in the other room because there was no door to get there through here so if there was i didn't see it but 
But yeah, I keep hearing like noises. I don't know if it's because I'm on my own or what, but. <laughs> but yeah, this I don't know. This must have been some kind of like garage or something, because the the windows are all like the, you know, it looks like garage type stuff. You've got some like gang sign there, postcode gang. Like I said, kids, don't do no graffiti because this is just a waste of time doing that. You're wasting your money and probably your parents' money just getting some spray cans. I don't see the point. You know, if you want to make some good memories last long and not get in trouble for it, you know, do YouTube or even record videos and put them on other sites. But do not, you know, do graffiti. I'm looking on the floor at the same time as well. Um, because when I did explore this place, well, that's a dark room. <laughs> it's good my camera can see it because I can't see shit in there. But yeah, when I did actually explore this place, whoa, that is a dark room as well. Um, the other day I did explore this place and there was a lot of needles around. And obviously you can tell like, you know, people have been, I can hear like walking, like footsteps guys. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I mean, I mean it might just be the water or something or the building slowly decaying on me, but Sounds like there's footsteps like right behind me, but I don't know what it is. There's, there's no water. I just had a look. In between off camera of me not recording, I've had a look and there is no wet surfaces anywhere in this building. I'm always looking on the floor as well. I don't want any like needles, I'll step on any needles or out. Oh, I thought someone was stood there. It's a bleeding pram. I don't know if you guys, the pram there. And that nearly scared the shit out of me. Right, I'm looking on the floor because there is needles everywhere. I don't want to get any needles on the on the camera, on the footage, because you guys know what needles are. And needles are not a very nice thing to have. And, well, yeah, I don't fancy taking a trip to the hospital any minute, you know, with a needle stuck in my foot. So, yeah, I'm trying to document as much rooms as I can without actually like stepping on stuff and hurting myself. But it looks like this place has been done with like fire as well. Uh, I don't know if you guys can like the scorch marks and everything. It looks like fire's done, like they've burnt this down. Um, what's it got over here? Like, you know, you know, right on the walls got the uh, WFC, uh, SWFC, which is obviously a football team in, in uh, Sheffield. SUFC, um, Hillsborough, just like locations, some gang signs, yeah, abandoned buildings always get trashed, you know, you shouldn't trash this stuff, man, because this could have been re, this could have been reopened as another business, you know, pe keep people off the streets and that lot, but, obviously, you know, you guys, Obviously, they like to trash stuff. Not you guys who are watching this. Not all of you like trashing stuff, but yeah. But I'm just going to have another look around the rooms. And like I said, there's not really much to see in any of these rooms. Just, just got graffiti in it. So, yeah, I was considering going live, but I didn't want to go live and like get bombarded with questions and make this just as, you know... I wanted to have my own experience on it felt like I'm you know to feel like I'm on my own because this is actually quite scary but on your own there's a lot of death traps around here as well so yeah so we're outside the building that's the first building so we're gonna have a look at the next building now right guys I can't remember if I said this on the other on the other clip but I am gonna try and get some friends down here uh, try and get Lee down here um, we probably would do this video again all three of us um, so they can get their perspective as well something something might be new um, and that lot but there's a door down here but I don't know if we can actually get into it or not alright here we go and there appears to be nothing in there nothing in there guys whatsoever okay so we've discovered that there's nothing in the secret hidden room so now we're gonna go into this other room, which is right in front of me. Right guys, so we're in the next room and there's nothing really much to say here. Not much graffiti in this room, which is a good thing. You know, guys, don't do graffiti. 
you know, leave the abandoned buildings to be as they are. You know, you don't want any abandoned buildings. You know, it costs us people a lot more money to tear this place down instead of rebuilding it. It's actually cheaper to rebuild this stuff. So yes, yeah, so we've got like some more walls here, which hasn't got much of graffiti and there's obviously graffiti there. Um, so yeah, that's it. So um, this building isn't actually that big. Um, obviously with the, with, the, with the amount of needles that I'm seeing on the floor, I wouldn't want to stay here longer than a couple of minutes, just in case I accidentally stamp on, step on one. There's one right there. So you gotta be careful where you're walking. I feel like I'm get I'm stepping on one like needles already, but yeah, hopefully they hopefully I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> hopefully. And around the secret dark room we have what's that? Some kind of like gas canister. I think these would be empty, but if you did actually shoot those or get something on them, they would probably go up in flames. So I don't know if you guys can see anything in the distance, but I sure can't see anything. If you guys see anything like anything at all that my camera's not picking up, obviously my camera cameras do pick up like spooky stuff like ghosts and stuff. But if I don't, if I see, if you guys see anything in the videos and you know, like, and you, and I don't see it. You know, on the camera, I'm probably not going to see it as I'm recording. But after I've done, if it's picked up any spooky stuff or anything that may have, you know, put me in danger, this would probably be the time to tell me. I keep thinking, like, I see, I see, I think I see people like, in, the, in the corner of my eye, but it's just like the doorway and plants moving. You know, this place must have been a busy time of the year. It must have been, it must have been a garage at, this, at some point, rather as some kind of public garages or some kind of business. Right, guys, I'm looking around to see if I can explore any more so I can get the full depth of this place done. Make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Make sure I haven't missed anything. And I really am not seeing anything else, guys. I'm so sorry that this video might not have been as long as I wanted it to be. That's why it involves me most of me just rambling on. But yes, you know, the YouTuber that expired, that literally expired me to go looking in abandoned buildings, possibly haunted or not, is a guy called Mo Sarge. Go check his channel out, um, Mo Sarge. He does this with his friends and it actually inspired me to do it. I was like, you know what? I need to do this, you know, live live life to the full that's his motto live a little i ain't gonna steal his motto don't worry i do i do watch him all the time I literally every time there's a video he's that i watch it straight away so yes yeah, so there's nothing around here guys i can't really see anything there's no like there's no like any parts to it there's just a gate there but that gate's been obviously bored at least to a street you don't really want to look at people's cars you know um so yeah um but that's more or less it really that's more or less it um so yeah um so yeah if you guys do um if you if you guys did do like this stuff you know give it a like you know even subscribe you know a like and a subscribe would really help me out a lot and yeah we'll try and do more videos like this um but as you can see the back entrance of the building is just completely concreted up I think that's a part of the building anyway. Got some more gang graffiti here. Or street art, as you want to call it. If I get mixed up with them, you know. I got. I actually um, watched a video and, um, and I, sent it to my, I sent it to my friend and I went, oh, this is, um, you, know, why, you know, why would gangs want to waste the spray paint, you know, doing the big name like this? Yeah, it probably gets the name out there, but why would you want to do that? And they went, oh no, it's street art. I went, oh, right. There's a difference between street art and gang graffiti. I was like, all oh, right, okay then. <laughs> so yeah, um, but yeah, but this is the end of the video, guys. I'm sorry if it wasn't big enough, like long enough, but that is the entire view of the building. That is it. 
I just want a completely 360 of the entire area and that is it. If I do see any more places that I can get into, you know, and explore it on my own or do it with some friends, I will. But I still don't think I'm alone in this video. Like, I know... What the fuck was that? Something just like whoosh, passed me. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know if it was like a branch or something I stepped on or what, but yeah. But I know you guys are watching this, but I just don't feel like I'm alone. I feel like someone's like watching me. And if I look, I look round trying to see things and there's nothing there. You know, I'm seeing things that I haven't seen before. I mean, that's, I, don't, I don't know if you guys could see that, but there's a pink thing there. Let me know if that pink thing was there. Because I can't remember seeing that. <laughs> So there's a lot of like buses going past. There's no signs saying that you have to stay out of it and everything. I will look see if it's if it's classed as um, private property, but I haven't seen no signs saying that. So yeah, so hopefully we don't, you know, hopefully this is the last time I'll be back here. Um, but if I do come back here um, with Lee and Jonathan and any other people that want to join, um, yeah, we'll just do it like that. You know, we'll come back then. So until then guys, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.